イケイケです<笑>ストリートを感じるというかロンドンの先端のストリートファッションめちゃくちゃ感じてます Hello my girl! This is my girl! Look! 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 We must cycle! Go to the top, my boy, you feel me? Being in Tokyo with my Tokyo family is only the greatest thing that I could do to pay tribute to the country that I enjoy being the most over the past couple years. The concept of Mimus is to remove the headache of wanting to choose an outfit or hiring people and to have a good quality t-shirt that you can wear on any occasion. So if you can be watching TV and you're invited to an event, you can just carry on wearing this to the event from home. So I've always loved making t-shirts, growing up designing, uh, painting. I've always been creative and I had a liking for um, painting. When I was growing up, surrealist painting, which uh, gives the trust, like the person viewing the painting, the choice to interpret the paint, like the imagery, as they please. So then, memes make it make sense. Is sort of understanding your life from where you started to where you want to be, and understanding the journey that comes along with it. We have T-shirts, we have hats, we have ties, and we have socks. So those are. The items that usually, when you travel, these are the items that you see first. It's sort of embracing the journey of life and seeing the capturing souvenirs throughout the journey of your life, from being born to where you you fulfill your purpose. I had the mascot drawn a couple of years ago in the sketchbook, and you know, when I was designing the collection, I was trying to find some new inspiration, and I looked back through. My old designs, and I ended up deciding that this mascot was going to be representing every single one of us from the minute we're born, and then throughout the journey of life, we travel, we meet people, we see things, media, you know, we watch TV, cartoons, and you fill your life with colors throughout the journey. I had a character that I drew like a couple years ago in my sketchbook, and. To find some new inspiration from for the collection, I、um, decided to go through my old sketchbooks, and I found the mascot, which I believe best represents each and every one of us from the minute we're born, which is a plain canvas, you know, in a way. And then you fill it with experiences, watching cartoons, and you slowly build your life and slowly color your life in a way. There's a personal side to this because.、Um, My dad started in fashion. He started selling denims in Paris, and then after that, he sold his company and went to Tokyo to import and export anime to Europe. And I think this is just a tribute to him and the similarities and the path of life that I've led compared to my dad. And this is just paying tribute to him and the success that he's built upon his life. Also. I've had the chance to work with an amazing production team, Plus 81,、uh, which was a very close part to, of my heart when I was like, building the brand. And Plus 81 has always been my family since I I met them in Paris two years ago. And now we're at this point, and we're in Tokyo, and we're celebrating the launch of this beautiful project. I had design like lots of design before I started the collection. And、uh, I wanted to make it as interactive for the customer. So you can see it at the front of the venue. There's a stand with free burgers. We put window stickers to interact with the customer, and we're gonna make it into a game where they have to find the number of the correct number of mascot stickers in the venue to get、uh, an exclusive Tokyo T-shirt, which will never be reproduced, which will be given away for free if they end up finding the right number. And I just want to build the experience for the customer to think about the collection and understand where my thinking was when creating the collection, and sort of see themselves in the collection. I think it felt only right to hold my first pop-up in a Japanese venue to honor the culture and the culture of Harajuku, which built fashion in Tokyo. Which、um, you know, I relate to Nigo a lot when he launched Babe. 
in the early 2000s, bringing two cultures together. And this is the point of MIMS with my global network that I've built um, over the years. And I'm trying to bring everyone together with this brand. And being in Tokyo with my Tokyo family is only the greatest thing that I could do to pay tribute to the country that I enjoy being the most over the past couple years. レイジですこんにちはよろしくお願いしますショッパナ入った瞬間に目合ってこうワッツアップみたいな感じで入ってもらってこの人柄がすごいデザインに出てるなと思ってめっちゃテンション上がりました会場がまあ結構和のテイストの中でこういうポップなカラーがあるっていうのがすごく若い人とかは多分好きなテイストなのかなと思うのでなんかもっとそういうのが増えていったらこうなんかみんなが楽しめるイベントができるのかななんて僕は思いましたイケイケです<笑>アリスですナンバーエイトっていうモデル事務所に所属してます普段はモデルをしてますよろしくお願いしますすごいなんかポップで可愛らしい元気な方ですごいあの色が出てるブランドだなと感じましたとすごいカルチャーとかもあるようなブランドだと思うのでなんかいろんなとことコラボしたりとかもっと世界的に広がっていったらいいなと思いますみんな和気あいあいとしててなんかすごいストリートを感じるというかみんな友達みたいな感じですごい楽しかったです I'm Anna、um, I live in Paris And I'm here in Tokyo for vacation, small vacation. I'm going back home to, tomorrow. When I met Michael, that was a funny situation. I was in the elevator、uh, and I saw one of my friends,、uh, Moana, and she b r i n g me in the, the hotel room、um, to see their friends. And they were like、uh, Michael. And he was very nice to me.、Uh, and I didn't know the brand. Uh, and I saw it like right now, so I like it. <laughs> oh my god, I can't! <laughs> Hello, my girl! <laughs> This is Michael! Look, look! Look, he's very famous. Like everybody k n o w Michael, you know why? Because he has a, a beautiful t shirt, like a yellow t shirt. This is how I can、uh, see you、uh, uh -huh. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so he's very famous. Like everybody k n o w him and k n o w his brand. I like it. I like him. But no, like him, like a.、Um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> <Sorry> . <laughs> Blue Baby is. Alisa is. Hot on a party, and Minna, I can't see you. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. Paint all the Sagashinagara. Nanka, collection, I'm going to go to the house. 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 ネクタイを腰に巻いたりとか、首にこうやって巻いて、可愛いなって感じです。これから大きなフェスとか、大きななんかイベントとか、PV とかで、コレクションを見れるのがすごく楽しみです。メディアとかでも見かけると思うんで、チェックしたいなと思います。楽しかったです。ミムス最高イェイ、リッツシンです。それで職業は、あの、まあ、サイドでモデルとかしててだけどフルでやってるのがコンテンツクリエーション、まあ、インフルエンサークリエイターですパリファッションウィークのパーティーで会って最近日本でまた会ってポップアップやるとかアダルコーテ聞いてギフトでもらったんだけど楽しみです開けるのこんな大きいおしゃれな箱もらったら楽しみになっちゃうよね見て内装もとても素敵だし I love it this, this is amazing 期待することはもう世界行くしかないってことだよね。ゴロだチャー、マボイユフェミ。こんにちは、ピンキーです。こんにちは、エロです。若いの感じは伝えてる、すごくパワーとかって感じでます。メコちゃんはめ、あのロンドンからの人だから、なんかこのロンドンの先端のストートファッションめちゃくちゃ感じでます。日本でパ,パーティーがポップアップやってるで、もうめっちゃ興奮してますね。今日のあのブラウンは最高でした。はい。賑やかな感じで、なんかみんなはめちゃくちゃファッションの人めっちゃ来てるで、なみんなとコミュニケーションしたらめっちゃ嬉しいな感じ。そしてみんな一緒に写真撮るとか、なんか一緒にファッションの話で喋るとか、めっちゃ楽しいです。
今日のイベントは最高でしたこれなんかピンクまずは色は大好きでそしてこのなんかデザインのか感じはめちゃくちゃ可愛いで素敵です<笑>以上でありがとうございます I、um, I believe Mims will be one day the greatest brand in the world, and I don't want to stick to fashion because it narrows my place of interest in a way. It, it narrows down the the my ability to expand, you know. So I will, for the next collection, we'll have greater pieces, like proper collection pieces, like Bottega or Bape or Celine pieces. But also, I want to expand the brand to be more than just a fashion brand. I want it to be a movie studio. I want it to be anything that memes can be put on. I want it to be a conglomerate, you know. And I want to build a legacy over the next 100 years for people to look up to, knowing that we changed the direction of fashion by launching Make It Make Sense.